Hey guys, so I don't really know how to start off this video. Um, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh died, Kazuki Takahashi. Um, I guess I just wanted to pay my respects by like, uh, like sharing my story with Yu-Gi-Oh, how I grew up with it and everything, you know. Um, and Yu-Gi-Oh was huge, man. Yu-Gi-Oh was huge. I just I remember having a lot of cards like when I was a kid and everything. Um, I used to have just decks like my my mom would just, you know, it could come from the store and be like, oh, I got you. I got you this and, and come back with either that or like Pokemon cards. You know, those were the, the two best things. But I liked Yu-Gi-Oh more um, than Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards is really for like just to show, you know, back then, like just to show off. Like if you got one of those cool ones, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh is like you got to show off your skill. <laughs> you come in. Even with a trash deck, you could come with a trash deck and, and, and like, wreck someone, you know? Um, but, like, so when I was a kid growing up, like, my mom, you know, I already said she would get me, like, so when I was a kid growing up, like, like I said, my mom would get me, you know, packs and stuff, and I would, I would, I understood I'd play the game from watching the, the anime, which is something, like, you, you, you didn't have with the cards of you of Pokemon. Like I didn't know how to play with the cards by watching the anime. So with Yu-Gi-Oh is a whole different thing. I actually understood. So you know, I used to I used to love playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and I did I did fairly like keep track up until like um after after like I would I would like I watched all of Yu-Gi-Oh, but like. I went on to, like, watch GX, and I liked it, but, like, it was also, like, I stopped, you know, like, <laughs> I stopped following that, like, after GX and 5Ds and all that, but then I came back for for Zexo, and, like, Zexo is pretty cool, I liked Zexo, so, yeah, my mom would buy me, you know, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but, like, at, the more I grew up, like, the more, like, um, they just stop getting it from me, and, like, you know, it happens, but, like, I start, you know, getting interested in other stuff, you know, that that just happens growing up, um, so, like, I just put Yu-Gi-Oh! on the mean backseat, and, like, bro, I, I literally just started coming back because of the app, the new, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game, I, I played the, the other one on the Switch, like, I just started getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after V-Reigns and everything, or Sevens, I think it's called now, um, but yeah, bro, like, it, bro, my mom threw away my, my Yu-Gi-Oh cards when we were moving, <laughs> man, I remember being so angry and sad that day, I done, I cried my heart out, bro, like, it, it wasn't just the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it was, it was also the, the Pokemon cards, like, so, I, <laughs> she threw away all of them, bro, I remember being so edgy and being angry, and being sad, like, no, I'm not talking to you forever, <laughs> like, I was so mad, but, bro, I had some sick cards back then, like, you, you know, it, if you grew up and, and that, sh and, and that would happen to you, like, you'd be heartbroken too, so, yeah, that, that's how I ultimately lost, like, my Yu-Gi-Oh, my Pokemon cards, I mean, I, I try to rekindle the vision, I have, like, I have the boxes somewhere, but I have, like, cards now, but it's not the same cards I had as a kid. I just got them because I was like, damn, I miss I miss having them, you know. But yeah, that's just my like short story on on Yu-Gi-Oh. And like I just wanted to pay my respects. Like that Yu-Gi-Oh was such a like so different, like a very different thing back then, just um a different card game. Um I don't know, I don't really know like what to say. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't grow up before like um and, like, oh, I was big, heavy on Catan or anything or, like, stuff like that. You know, there's big, there's big, um, board game people, like, you know. I, I just play Monopoly and, and that's it. And, like, other games like Candy Lane and stuff like that. Whatever they had at, at, at whatever kid party, that that's what I was playing, you know. I, I was always at their games or dancing like a little goofball. Um, but yeah, man. It just sucks, man. I, I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh so much. It just sucks. I kind of want to like go back and like I kind of want to just like grind the the app now, you know. But it's sad, man. Um, sad. Just to think, like 
you take a step back, like look at look at Yu-Gi-Oh, just like from a, a regular point of view, um, like it's so much, it's 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 just such a mess, right? Like you look at the different type of cards there are, the different type of rules, the different type of everything, the different um, mechanics coming with each iteration. Um, attribute. I remember the the first thing I, I I hated like as a kid, like finding out was like, oh, um, this card is a field card. Uh, you have to have this monster. Like you have to have a let's say like you have to have a a, a dark type monster, a, a light type monster, but it can't be a skeleton. Whoa! Like I was like, hey, hold on, man. That. Come on, that's too much, man. <laughs> or like, oh, you need to have three dark cards to banish and 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 to summon this card. Like, I remember the rules being some of the cards. I was just like, I'll just leave this out of my deck because I don't really understand. <laughs> and I, you know, I was a kid, so I like and and passing it to my parents, they're like, I don't, I don't know what it means neither. <laughs> so it's either you and your friend like trying to come up with like the rules because you don't want you don't want the card to be busted you know <laughs> and you're like well should should we be allowed to play with that and it's like nah just leave that off just leave that off your deck it's better it's better not just having a headache whenever that card comes up <laughs> but yeah man oh man and i i don't mean to like um i'm not trying to like stir the pot or anything like i love both pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but like in terms of card games, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh card the the card game way more. <laughs> it's not a competition. Um But yeah, um I guess share share in the comments or anything if you find this uh video. Um also like uh, truly shout out to the creator, bro. Like he done He created a trend that probably will never go away. Like that's just how how impactful Yu-Gi-Oh truly is. It it might never go away, and that's that's something like to be proud of as like a as a fan base, as as a family member to him. As a, I'm sure he had wife and kids. You know, it's just something to be proud of because now like Yu-Gi-Oh is a staple. Like people will try to copy Yu-Gi-Oh. Like that's how you know you're you're a trendsetter. Like you know, man. But yeah, um, if if this video hit to you, bro, share, share your story. I'm down to hear some stories in the comments. Um, and thank you very much. Uh, we lost a we lost a, a, a true one, bro. Like a, a true mastermind. Like to be honest, like I I didn't even mention like the the manga. You know that that also was Shonen Jump, mega mega blockbuster hit. You know. Not, not, I didn't even mention the, the manga, like, I personally didn't read the manga, but, like, I know it was, it was huge, and I know his art was great, because, like, the way they adapted it onto, you know, onto, uh, four kids, or wh- whatever, uh, uh, whoever did the, the anime, I don't know who did the anime, but definitely did a perfect job adapt, adapting his art, um, but, like, now, now I'll check into it to, like, see his art and stuff, but, like, yeah, but yeah, we lost we lost a true one today, a true mastermind in terms of just everything. He made a board game, a, a anime that will, that will that will always be in our hearts, and like, is it called a board game? A card game, su- excuse me, a card game that will like you know forever be duplicated, um, and just always be here. Like Yu-Gi-Oh will always be here, and it will always grow. Like that's something that he left behind. He left behind a legacy, like. You know, inspirational, truly inspiration, uh, a true inspiration to all, like, you know, people out there, bro. Anyways, yeah, it's going to be it. Thank you for stopping by.